In every criminal case, ignorance of the law is no excuse. This rule applies in sexual harassment of any form. When such cases are reported, perpetrators are brought to book or dealt with according to the law. Advocates and stakeholders at a workshop organized in Accra are therefore calling for more education about stigma and the impacts of sexual harassment on one's mental and physical health, mobility, voice, and participation. A report by Oforiwa Dagun. This fear reporting their assault to law enforcement because of stigma. In Ghana, sexual assaults of any form, including rape, defilement, and natural canal knowledge and harassment, are regarded as serious offenses, and the country's justice system provides legal aid to survivors. When you go into the Domestic Violence Act, it talks about harassment. It talks about all kinds of abuse, not just sexual abuse, but um, physical abuse, economic abuse, all kinds of abuse. Then we come to sexual abuse and their loss. The Director of Public Education at the Commission on Human and Administrative Justice, Shraj Nanayam Fwa Amwasechi, further reiterated that given the devastating effects that sexual harassment can have on individuals, no one is victimized for making such a complaint, while perpetrators are also dealt with. The laws of Ghana work very, very much. It might seem as if there are no laws because most often than not, you find people going to the police station when something happens to beg, you know, and then, or you know somebody who knows is a cousin of this person, and that, but the laws work. According to the country director of Inarela, Ghana, Madame Mercy Aqua Hayford, the societal norm of sexual harassment can only be challenged if only there is a collective effort to allow survivors to freely and justly use their voice. We expect that people go back and disseminate the information to their peers. That is why we brought adolescents, the youngest is 16 years. And then we have the youth, we have religious leaders, all mixed up, so that they will grab the information and send it out for people to hear. Representatives from Dovsu Social Welfare Department, community leaders, legal officers, the youth and other stakeholders of Inarela Ghana shared ideas, experiences and deliberated on how best the narrative of sexual harassment and HIV stigma can be changed. For GBC News, Ofriwa Dakon.